uh, how long did it take for you and your crew to plan, shoot and complete this film? I mean, um, also, you can probably tell us about the scene you're most proud of. I came here, I mean, like on and off, I was coming here in and out um, doing location scouting and everything. Um, but I was here about four to five months before shooting and I started working. Um, and then some of the crew joined me later. The production designer joined me a month later and then the rest of the crew came in about two months before shooting. Um, but I mean, because, because I mean, we built that garden and we built the Japanese house in the garden and that took a long time. So I would say it was about three, four months of prep. We shot for two months and then half more year doing the post-production. That's the editing, that's the sound design, that's the music, color timing, everything. We even color timed this film in India. Um, because, yeah, because our, our cinematographer is from India and he's based in Mumbai. And so his color timer, I mean, they, they're used to working in India. So I, I even went to Mumbai to, to do the color wow. timing of this movie. Yeah, so yeah, it, it took a long, long time. Um, the scene I'm most proud of, there is one sequence in the movie uh, regarding tattoos. Um, there's a big tattoo sequence uh, in the movie and I won't give too much away, no. but I'm quite proud of that whole sequence. It's a very, very moving sequence. Um, even, I mean, even now, I mean, you know, I've seen this movie, I, I don't know how many times during editing and finishing up, but like last time I saw it at the, the Taiwan premiere, I was still very moved by that scene. Okay, so you've, you've made many movies, including A Winds of September, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Zinnia Flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, how does The Garden of Evening Mist differ in treatment? Well, I mean, I mean, this is like the biggest movie I've ever made. Wow. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, in that regard, it's totally different. Um, but again, I mean, because uh, Winds of September and Zinnia Flowers are more personal stories, and their original stories written by me. I wrote the screenplay. With this one, I was working off of somebody else's canvas, somebody else's art. I mean, it's Twin Ang's novel, and it's uh, and it's set in, in Malaysia. And so I think the one of the biggest uh, difference is the responsibility of this film. Um, there's a huge responsibility when you do a movie like this, and when you're working with such a big budget. Um, I was very aware of the audience um, when I was making this film, and um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, like like I said, it's it's for for this one, you do have that responsibility, and it's all for the audience. And so I was very careful, like, okay, are they going to get this scene? Are they going to be moved by that scene? Um, are we clear enough in the storytelling? Um, so th in that regard, that's very different. How much creative input did you allow author Tan Tuan Eng to bring to the table? Uh, was there you know, ever a difference of opinion so, or, and how a shot should be taken? Or do you believe you did his book justice? Okay, uh, I'm going to answer the last part first. I did. We did. All right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't really get to meet Tuan Eng until like during the middle of the shoot. Uh, most of the conversation between uh, Twin Ang and uh, the film company was done by Richard, our screenwriter, um, before I got on board. And so I think they conversed a lot about, you know, what the novel was about and what we're going to take out. Just because, I mean, it's a 400 page novel, you're going to turn it into a two hour movie. So you have to take out certain things and change certain things. And, um, but I mean, from what I know, you know, Twin Ang was very understanding about the fact that he knows that, I mean, he's seen other novels turned into movies. He knows what's going to happen. Yeah. And so I think he was, he was prepared mentally, um, for something that's going to be different than, than, than his, uh, his novel. Um, yeah. So like I said, uh, I, the first time I met him was the middle of the shoot. We had a press conference with the cast and crew, and um, he was there. And uh, I did feel that he was a little nervous yeah. about what's going to come from this. And, uh, and also just because at that point, he did not read the final script of okay. what we were shooting. So okay. he didn't really know uh, what we were going to do. I remember he was answering like a question to the reporters, and <laughs> he was like going like the lowest common bar. He was saying that, you know, 
well, hopefully they will not change the title of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, really? That's all you're asking for? The title? Yeah. And what's your hope for The Garden of Evening Mist? With this one especially, because I do feel that we've made a very important movie for Malaysian cinema. Well, for Malaysian people as well. And for, yeah, and for the Malaysian people. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, just、um, my biggest wish is that the audience is going to watch this and, and feel proud of one, being a Malaysian, and two, that Malaysia, that Astro has produced a movie like this. And, and that more international audiences will see this and will want to know more about Malaysia. 